Welcome back to the channel, it's Gaz here. It's been such a long time since I'm bringing a video just like this one. And guess what? I am back. I am back for good. You might have noticed a couple of weeks ago I uploaded videos saying I'm quitting YouTube, everything is over and I'm disappearing forever. Well, plans have changed. And basically I went away and I was away for about two weeks. And unfortunately I got medically discharged, which means I am out for the next 12 months. But since being away, I have I've realized that is definitely not something I want to be doing. And basically, I'm coming back today and I'm staying back today. And this is what I'm going to be doing for the next however many months and potentially even years. Whoa, 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 wait right there. I need to tell you about the sponsor of this video. Okay, we don't really have a sponsor, but this is what's going down. We have a secret project going over on a separate channel. So make sure you go over there, hit that subscribe button, turn them bell notifications on because something secret and something special is dropping very, very soon. So let's get straight back into this video. So you're all here for the video today and that is the new Warzone map. And so the new Warzone map, it doesn't have a new name as of right now. All of that we know of it so far is it's called the 80s Verdansk. So what is this map? When is it coming? And basically what is the POI locations? So if you haven't realized over the last few days, I've kind of been sitting in the background looking at this, thinking when am I gonna make this return? And basically, I feel like today is the best time to do it. So this map, if you didn't know, about three days ago, there was an unfinished kind of looking trailer that came out. If I show it on screen, obviously I'm gonna get myself a copyright strike, which is something that we don't want on this channel. So that trailer came out about three, but about three or four days ago. But if I do manage to find the trailer online, I will leave a streamable link down in the description below so make sure you keep going down into the description because I might just drop a link in there and that, that basically that will just take you over to a separate website where you can just watch the video and basically no copyright claims and strikes will be on this video whatsoever so I will keep updating that one as soon as basically it gets taken down I'll re-upload it again etc etc so that will be the place where you can see the trailer in that trailer it basically shows an 80s version of the Dangst and what is in this one? Well, if you look at the current airport we have right now, it is completely different. And when I say it's completely different, the airport is so much smaller. And the planes that we see on Verdansk today, where it's like kind of blown up and stuff, well, it's not quite like that. If you go back uh, 20 years ago, 30 years ago, an airport is completely different to what we see today. So the airport is not like what we see where you you board the plane from inside the, the terminal. It's when you have to go onto the actual runway, up the stairs of the plane, and that is how you fly back in the days. Obviously some places, like, like many smaller airports, you will find that today, but the majority of them, you will find a normal boarding terminal. So other than that, the dam has changed completely. The, the, the dam's not even there. It's a bridge like, you would probably see in a Harry Potter film where it's like 20 to 30 arches going across this bridge. I know this bridge has like a uh, its own special name for it. I can't quite remember what it is in my head right now, but if, if I do manage to come across it, this is what it is. I'll just put some text at the bottom of the screen. So that is what the bridge is called. So you can go check out what the bridge is and basically it's changed. The dam is gone. The dam somehow came in 20 30 years later to what we see today but obviously back then the dam wasn't around in the dank so and also there's another thing which has been it's been it's been floating around in the air for a while that you obviously the dam is iced over there's there's clearly water under there and there's also something under there and we know this because many months ago there was like a blue glowing light under there and there was something that we could see under there. We didn't quite know what it was, but from this leaked trailer, you can actually see bits of what should have been there or what, what we know should be there. Basically, it's all gonna be uncovered with inside the new map. So that's another thing that's gonna be happening. And the third one that is very obvious is the stadium isn't actually built. 
it's kind of a shell. Uh, there's no windows. There's no uh, there's no football field, and it's just basically a a construction shell of a stadium. Think back to Blackout, and we have the hotel looking building in the top left hand corner. It kind of looks like it's in a building kind of environment, just like that one. So basically, the stadium isn't there. It's being built, and obviously we we won't actually get to see it fully built in the 80s version because we already have it fully built right now so basically it just kind of outlines what the stadium was going to be or what the stadium is and it's basically just a shell that we can see and go in i, I imagine there'll be floors to go on and uh and a lot of other things to explore around there but what we do know is the car park is still there kind of it's it's there it's not there i don't know if you can access it but there definitely is an underground kind of looking car park thing just there but before we carry on with this video make sure you're hitting that subscribe button make sure you're hitting that like button make sure you're going downstairs into that comment section and leaving all your thoughts on this video so you're probably wondering when is this map going to be dropping and i can tell you a hundred percent it is going to be dropping in april so from what we know it's going to be towards the later end of April. And what people are saying is the 22nd of April, which is actually a Thursday, which kind of makes sense with the Call of Duty uh, routine and the scene and how they kind of do things because they normally drop an update on a Thursday or slash Friday morning. So you'll probably find it will be one of those kind of updates where they drop at 11 p.m. US time and it's kind of like 5, 6 a.m. in the UK. So that is... That is around the the time frame that we're going to be seeing but everything i have said in this video is obviously subject to change because things change the build that we've probably seen in that leaked trailer is probably an older kind of alpha kind of trailer if that's what you want to call it before the final thing is published but obviously this trailer has been leaked there's obviously going to be some kind of lawsuit out there someone's going to get sued somebody at activision treyarch infinity ward or raven's probably going to lose their job so that that is pretty much guaranteed that somebody is going to get an absolute slap on the wrist well more of a slap on the arse for doing this because obviously it shouldn't be out in the wild right now and obviously i shouldn't be bringing this video to you right now but here we are so that is all we know for the new warzone map right now just like i said make sure you hit that subscribe button hit that like button go downstairs hit up that comment section so i'll be replying to absolutely everybody that drops a comment down there and also if you are worried about what was going on a couple of weeks ago and what's going on on now don't worry about it it's all kind of resolved it's all resolved my end so you guys have nothing to worry about right there i am back i am back for good and these videos will keep flowing so i hope to see you guys in the next video if you like this one hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, drop all your comments, and I'll see you guys in the next video. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'm out. Peace.